my name's Sarah and I work for Hobbycraft Bournemouth. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use gilding flakes. For our projects today, you will need gilding paste, gilding flakes, gold leaf, a card blank, a canvas, some rubber stamps and a few different brushes. I've got some painting brushes and then a stiffer and a softer one for rubbing over the leaf. The first project we're going to do is a card. So I have a card blank and then I have a polymer stamp. This is a stamp without a backing so you need to apply it onto an acrylic block. Try and get it central for even pressure. You then need to shake your gilding paste and using one of your art brushes apply a small amount all over your stamp. This needs to be a thin even layer and then as quickly as you can stamp onto the card and release. You then need to leave the paste for about 15 minutes when it'll get nice and tacky and take the gold leaf. While we're waiting for the first one to become tacky we'll start working on the canvas. I've already painted around the edges with some acrylic paint and added some patterned paper on top. I'm just going to take a thinner artist brush and just freehand paint on my word. We now need to wait for that one to go tacky. So now we've waited 15 minutes for the gilding paste to go tacky. We should be ready to apply our flakes now. Be careful when you open these because they will just fly everywhere. I'm just take out a few onto the area of the design. Tap it down slightly with your finger. Try and make sure you've covered the whole area. I'm just going to take my softer brush and just gently work over all the areas. And then just follow over with a stiffer brush. And just shake off and brush off the excess flakes. A nice distressed gilded stamp image. So next we're going to go back to the canvas and for this one I'm going to use some gold leaf. This comes in a little tissue paper book. Very gently pick up your sheet and lay it down over the paste. Just use your fingers again to try and secure it onto the paste and find all the areas that you painted. Take a soft brush again and just work the paste you can just touch up any bits that you've missed as you go. Take some time making sure that you've covered all the areas of the gilding paste and then again just brush off the excess flakes. If you notice any bits that haven't quite caught you can always repeat the whole process again by adding more paste, waiting for it to go tacky and then put the gold leaf back on top. And there's our finished gold leaf canvas. These are just two ways of using gilding flakes and gold leaf. For more ideas, check out our website or visit us in store.